20 uh, V1s. And he basically told the girl, because the girl said she didn't have no passport. So he asked her to see and say, okay, well, where would you take me? Where would you like for us to go if you don't have no passports? Give me some cities or some states that you would want to go domestically. And I'm going to play her answer. You take me in state. <laughs> what, do I? No. Okay, cool. Like, wait. I just said, I don't know. But I don't have my passport. Next. How you gonna get mad at me? Cause Dubai not in America. Oh. You ain't listening to social studies. I don't know, Jamaica. So, Where you wanna go to Jamaica? Jamaica? Yeah. Somewhere yeah. in America. You don't have your passport. We can't go to Jamaica. You just said you don't got your passport. Let's go to Key West. Florida? Yes. Lil, what would you take me in state? <laughs> So obviously, so would that? Can I be? Can I ask y'all a question? Would that? Would that be a red flag for y'all? Would you sit here and be able to date somebody who did, did not know Dubai is not in America? He said, "Where would you take me? Where could we go in America since you don't have a passport?" Her first answer was Dubai. He said, "Left," and she's like, "Why are you mad at me? I don't have a passport." He said, "I said let's go to somewhere in America." Then she said, "Jamaica." Like, I ain't the sharpest knife in the drawer, and I ain't never gonna come on here and act like I'm the smartest nigga in the world. That's why I didn't even laugh too hard at T.I. son when he couldn't spell tomorrow, because I ain't gonna lie, fucking auto spell correct saves the shit out of me on words I know I'm supposed to know how to spell. So, but that one right there was like, bro, what are you talking about? And that kind of lets you know how stupid and how brainwashed people are when it comes to things that they want to do and where they want to go when it comes to going on trips or going in the dating. And I can... Uh, and I can transition that into the Keith Lee topic that we kind of had good points, talking points on it last week, but I do kind of want to show, and I was so surprised on how many people realistically, um, kept it a bucket said D, the DC food scene is, is dog shit and niggas don't never want to admit it. You kind of there just for the ambiance, but we can let that hold on for a second. But I will ask you, would that be a turn off for y'all if somebody didn't know that Dubai wasn't in America? It could be, but I mean, you got to kind of blame the school system with the school teaching them. Yeah, is that the school, school system? system? I'm blaming you. <laughs> fuck you mean blame the school system? How you the school system ain't teach us about Dubai? They told at all. They, yeah, yeah. I, let's be so let's keep it about you. Yeah. That's you off of what you see on well, social, social media. media. You heard like what? Exactly. Yeah, because so okay. let's be let's be that's honest. A it's a turn up because we having a conversation. I asked you where would you want to go in the United States, and that's the answer you get. Yes, that would definitely be a turn off. Like, no, if you talking about dating somebody, no, if you talking about somebody, I'm, oh, I'm just trying to hit, it's cool. I, I ain't gonna pay that shit no mind. But even still, like, having a conversation with you, and that's your answer, hell yeah, no, that's a turn off. Yeah, that's because it's just, cause it, cause two reasons why it'd be a turn off for me. One, because you're just dumb as a doorknob. And then two, you are really, you just literally showed me that you're more influenced by social media. You are more influenced by social media. Social media has your brain in the choco. Did you say Dubai? Because just like Marcus said, we ain't learned about Dubai when we was in school. So that means you sit here and know about Dubai because of you are influenced of what you see on social media that you don't even have your own brain to even learn where Dubai is or even did you need a passport to get there? You learned about the states and the, and, and the United States of America. You did learn that. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I, but no, guess what you, you but guess what, but guess what you don't see right. on social media. I, I wouldn't even judge if you would have said, "Oh, Miami, Vegas," um, you, you know what I'm saying? Like you would have said something like that. I can't. Then all right, cool. Then you, all right, you know, some places you might want to go. Okay, so but, this this goes back to the conversation we had before when you asked, you said, "Would you want to? Would a woman want a date to do that didn't have a passport?" Right. Mm -hmm. So so this is, is wouldn't this be along the same lines? No, no, because, no. because guess what? Because, because I, cause I if I don't have a no, 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 because guess what? If I don't have a passport, guess what? Because this conversation go with me and women all the time. When they be like, oh, they love to travel, and I be like, okay, then what's on your bucket list? They got their places. So guess what? They gonna always ask me, hey, what's on yours? You know what's on mine? I want to go see every sports team play at their home arena. I don't guess. Guess what? I'm not thinking about Dubai. I ain't thinking about Paris. I ain't thinking about uh uh what's the other one? Tokyo. I'm not thinking about none of them places because guess what? I don't know. I don't know shit about them places. So I'm not influenced to even know nothing about them places. Don't care about none of them places. So I'm gonna tell you what my real answer was and why a woman can respect it. It's like okay, cool. This is something that he like. You watch sports, so you just want to go see all the teams. That's something on your bucket list to do. That lets you know that's my genuine likes. That's not me just sitting here regurgitating like, oh, I'm trying to go to the more D's because I seen everybody on social media go to the Maldives. Oh, that's why you see all the girls when I, hey, I'm going to go on a vacation and I'm going to go get in the middle of the ocean and take a picture in this clear boat. You're being influenced <laughs> to do this. And that's for you to leave. Oh, I don't have a passport. I don't know. What, what the hell made you say Dubai? Because you see it on social media. 
And then Jamaica. Guess what? The next place you always see on it. You always see girls getting rubbed down on Jamaica. So that's what you say. You don't even know what a Jamaica is, but you say Jamaica because you see everybody else get their legs uh, all down with that white stuff, whatever that is. I don't know what it is, and I don't care because I ain't trying to. And ain't no nigga gonna rub that shit on me, so I don't give a fuck. I never did no research to even figure out what it was. Cause I ain't going. It's, I'm not going there, and it ain't gonna never happen to me, so I don't even care. But like I said, going into um, just a conversation of just.